it is happening, guys. Mark Cavendish is going to the Tour de France. So De Kernic Quickstep announced yesterday their Tour de France lineup without Sam Bennett as a part of it. He's suffering from knee pain, but that does mean... Although we won't have the defending green jersey, we will have the Manx missile back at the Tour de France for the first time in three years, and I for one cannot wait. So today, I decided we would see how many stages we can win with Mark Cavendish across the entire Tour de France. Taking a look at the race, we do have quite a few pure flat stages. One, two, three, four, five, six stages seven, eight stages that Cavendish really has a great chance of winning or a chance in a sprint. Of course, Caleb Ewan is here. We still have the likes of Arnold Zamar as well, Peter Sagan, plenty of strong sprinters. But Cav, I've got a feeling he can win a stage. Just how many can he win though? He has 30 to his name currently, the second most in Tour de France history. And today we're going to find out if we can add to it at the Tour de France. 10k to go. Stage three of the Tour is here. Today we're heading to Pontivy. You can see Askren, Ballerini, Morco, and Mark Cavendish. What a sprinting train we have right here. I mean, I could use Ballerini. I'm going to use Michael Morcow instead. And Cavendish on a great day. Could we win on stage three here? Okay, we only have 5k to go. We enter the descent right at the front of the peloton. Casper Askreen, what a rider. Only 4k to go. We do have a full further back. It's very much downhill right now. I could even use Davide Ballerini right here. We now have the FDJ, the uh, Lotto Suzao as well as the Alps and Phoenix trains moving up. Ballerini needs to sprint. We have plenty of corners here. Michael Morcow needs to sprint as well. Cavendish getting blocked off. He's got blocks. It's game over. It's game over for the Manx Missile here on stage three. Instead, Davide Ballerini is going to win. It's a disaster. We win the stage, but the Manx Missile gets absolutely murdered with that block. Our chances on stage four then could be hampered already. We have a 25-man breakaway. The likes of Raffle Micah up the road here. Cosner far as well. A very dangerous group. We need to bring them in ASAP. However, 6k to go. The breakaway have been reeled in. David ends on a plus five. Leading out again, Askren Ballerini, who's now in green after stealing that stage. Please behave today, Ballerini. We don't want you winning stages. We want the Manx missile. Now we have Casper Askren up to 99. Cav, not on a great day today, but here comes Vanderpool, Philipson, and Merlier. We have Van Aert up here as well. We need to sprint pretty early, perhaps, right now. Ballerini, 2k to go. Can we find any space today? Apparently not. Oh, my word. Is Cav getting blocked for the second day in a row here? This is a disaster. Here comes the Manx missile. Can we take the stage? Here he comes. Mark Cavendish wins stage four of the Tour de France. Just about what a finish that was, guys. 31 is in the bag. Fougere is the location where Mark Cavendish wins his 31st stage of the Tour de France. Let's go. So today's stage six to Chateau is not going to be too simple. Firstly, because Primoz Roglic has fallen alongside a few other guys right here, but also because we have a massive section of potential crosswinds to try and junction here before the mass sprint. This could also be where Primoz loses the 2021 Tour de France in this particular playthrough. Primoz is gone in these crosswinds. What an unfortunate fall for him. We only have 97 now at the front. Absolute carnage unfolding right here, guys. Caleb Ewan is now dropped along with, I mean, Garrett Thomas is dropped as well. Rigoberto ran. Ballerini is gone for us. 18 riders are at the front of this stage. 10 k to go. Mark Cavendish still surviving though. So I have learned that this is actually the finishing location where Mark Cavendish won his first Tour de France stage in 2008. So if we can get the win here, will be something pretty special as well as how the stage is unfolded here with all of these crazy, crazy crosswinds. Cavendish is absolutely cooked. Only 3k to go. But we do have Julian Alaphilippe to try and do his best to give Cavendish some kind of lead out here into the final 2k. I think Cav is done. I think he's done here. We're going to try and wait. We're going to try and wait. But Cavendish is going to be done here into the final kilometre. Wout van Aert is going to take the stage just ahead of Julian Alaphilippe. And Cavendish just didn't quite have it after making the really, really elite junction in all of these crosswinds. So we make it into the second week of the tour, into Valence here today from Albertville. Another chance for Cav. 
pretty crazy tour so far. Pogacar has a three minute lead at the front of the race. So the tracks are playing a role in the lead out today. He's been on the front all day. Now he is the first lead out man for Cavendish into, of course, Valence here today. And we do have quite a few guys moving up again. The Alps and Phoenix train at this race. Philipson, Vans, Paul Merlier. So, so dangerous, but we need to ramp up the tempo. Again, we are struggling at this race, just getting blocked off almost at every single opportunity, it seems. Morcal, where where are you? Why aren't you on the wheel of Ballerini here? 2K to go, and we're in trouble in this lead out right now. Let's sprint with Morcal. Can we make a comeback here with Cavendish? Just 1K to go. He holds the wheel of his lead out man until the last. He's not going to win today. The blocks killed us, and Tim Merlier is going to win stage 10 of the Tour de France. Cavendish... Out of position was our issue there. Stage 12 of the Tour de France is quickly upon us then. Heading to Nîmes today, more crosswind sections, not quite as deadly, hopefully today though, and hopefully Cavendish has enough to sprint. So, six and a half K to go. I can tell you there are quite a few riders drops here. Pretty much the most dangerous is Nassib Buani, which says a lot about that. But anyway, just five K to go. This time, I'm determined to keep Cav as close to the front as possible. We have Laporte, Greipel already right to the front here. Van Aert as well, uh, not sure where Arnold Damara is compared to his teammates but this time Kasper Askren doing a perfect job and of course Cavendish is right on the back of where he should be into the final 2k right now we're going to launch with Davide Ballerini Morcal coming into the final kilometre can Cavendish come round here into Neem Cavendish going for the line can we take it we've gone too late and it's not going to be a win Wout van Aert takes it Cavendish just didn't quite have the energy ends up Seventh place and behind his lead out man. This is not going well. Stage 13 comes around then. Coming into Carcassonne, I believe, today. And Cavendish gets a plus three. This is the day Cavendish gets his 32nd win at the Tour, I hope. 6k to go then, and I'm wondering if it's worth maybe hopping to a different train. Maybe it's Caleb Ewan's wheel here with Cav, because our own lead out, not feeling it here today. Apparently, minus one, minus three, and minus one race day. Cav gets a nice plus three, though, so hopefully he can handle the high tempo here in the finale. Couple of corners here. Askren doing a great job, as he always does seem to do here. We'll go with Ballerini a little earlier, though, into the final two kilometers. Here goes Davide Ballerini. Morco can go into the final kilometer, and then we do have Mark Cavendish coming off his wheel into the finish. Can Cavendish take the stage? Is it going to be more cow? Please don't be more cow. Please don't be more cow. Please be Mark Cavendish who gets his 30 seconds win at the Tour de France. Textbook stuff here by De Koenig quick step. A 1-2 for De Koenig. Morcal, what a lead out that was. I have to say, I think his flat rating and just his strong ratings in general make it really difficult for Cav to hold his wheel until the very end. But Cav did the job here today. In green, we are now fourth place with Mark. All right, we have made it to the penultimate opportunity for Mark. Stage 19 right now into Le Bon, And he gets a nice plus one day. Can we add a hat trick? So we have suffered a fall today with four of our riders. You can see they are much further back. Askren, Morcal. Morcal, Ballerini and Damon Enns, they're not going to get back in. So we have Cataneo, Philippe, and Mark Cavendish for our lead out. I think I should maybe grab someone's wheel. So Cavendish, can we get to Tim Merlier's wheel? Apparently not. Arnold Zemar is here. I can see Caleb Ewan as well. I've got to Caleb Ewan's wheel. Okay, we're going to stay here. We're going to stay here. Mark Cavendish going to try and follow Caleb Ewan to the line. The boys setting a rapid rhythm though. There goes Caleb Ewan into the final kilometre. I don't think it's going to be a win for Cav today. Maybe should have stuck to an Alaphilippe lead out. And in the end, it is going to be a Wout van Aert win here on stage 19. Disappointing stage, it has to be said. This is it, guys. You don't need me to tell you where we are. I'm going to anyway. Paris Champs-Élysées. And this is where, of course, Cavendish has had some of his most famous Tour de France victories. Can we add another? Make it 33 wins at total at the Tour de France here. And so the tractor, Tim de Klerk, comes into the tunnel. Look at this ride by Tim de Klerk. What a rider. Cavendish on the back of our train. We'll go up to 95 here, maybe with Tim. Drop it to 90. We don't want to put Cav in trouble at that little ramp right there. Luckily, we don't, and we're in the perfect position. So here comes Casper Askren. Only 4K to go. Wout van Aert, Case Boys here. Here comes the Alpsen boys with their full team train. What? a team they have here for the sprints at the Tour de France. Only 2k to go though for Michael Morcal. He can unleash his sprints. Ballerini will be Cav's lead out today into the final one kilometer. Cav is actually struggling. He's, he's, he's going to get dropped by Ballerini here. Look at that. Davide Ballerini 
is not going to win. Well, for is going to win on Champs Elysees. Cavendish, it seems, doesn't quite seem to be on his top form here at this Tour de France. Following Ballerini and Morcow is a challenge, but Well, for Nart wins on Champs Elysees. There it is, then, guys. We managed two wins in total with Cavendish. Not the most successful tour, but I think if he gets it in real life. Two wins for Cavendish at the 2021 Tour de France would be absurd. Everyone would go crazy. It would be awesome to see. And if he can get a single stage win, I would be ecstatic. And I can no doubt say it would be one of the best Tour de France moments of the season. By the way, if you're interested, it was Pogacar winning this Tour de France. And we didn't take green. That was Wout van Aert as well. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like down below. Drop a sub on the channel as well if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one.